Hello guys, in this video lecture, we will deal with the extreme values of function of several variables. So before starting this lecture, uh, I just want to recall uh, in case of function of single variable. So suppose if y is equal to fx be a function of single variable and define on domain suppose domain is capital D then the point the point x is equal to c is called called the point of absolute called point of absolute maxima maxima if if fx is less than equal to f of c for all x belongs to domain of definitions similarly the point x is equal to c is called is called a point of absolute minima if fx is greater than equal to f of c for all x belongs to in the domain. So similarly we can define the point x is equal to a is called a local maxima when we call it is lo local maxima if f dash a is equal to 0 and f dash a f double dash a is negative and point x is equal to a is called a local minima if f dash a is equal to 0 but in this time it should be negative it should be negative a point where f double dash is 0 and f triple dash is not equal to 0 f triple dash is not equal to 0 is called is called a point of point of inflection for example for example if we take fx is equal to x cube then we observe that the partial derivative then fx has a point of inflection at origin x is equal to 0. So if we differentiate this function with respect to with respect to x 
so we get f dash x is equal to 3x square 3x square f double dash x is equal to 6x and f triple dash x is equal to x 6 sorry so here we observe that f double dash 0 is equal to 0 and from here we observe that f triple dash 0 is 6 that is not equal to 0 so double dash derivative at origin is 0 but triple dash derivative is not equal to 0 that means x is equal to 0 is point of is point of inflection inflection ok guys so in this way uh, we can find the extreme uh, extrema that is maxima and minima of in case of function of single variable now we will start with the function of two variable and we will try to find its critical points saddle point and then we will try to find its local and maximum local minima and local maximum so suppose we have we have a function of two variable a function of two variable suppose z is equal to f of x y a point a comma b is called local maxima if f of x comma y is less than equal to f of a comma b for all x comma y in some in some disk centered at at point a comma b Similarly, the point A comma B, A comma B, this is called the local minima if FXY is greater than equal to f of a comma b for all x comma y in some disk centered at point a comma b So in this way we can find the local maxima and local minima of the given function. So to find local maxima and local minima, so first of all we have to find the critical points and to find critical points we have first derivative test for local maxima and lo minima so first derivative test for local extreme values So this test says that if fxy has 
local maxima local maxima and minima minimum value local maximum and minimum value at an interior point point a comma b of its domain and and if and if the first first order partial derivative exist there then then f of x at point a comma b is equal to 0 and f of y at point a comma b is also equal to 0. Now I will give you the definition of critical point. An interior point suppose a comma b of domain capital D of function z is equal to fxy is called an empty critical point if if number first both partial derivative that is fx and fy exist and both are equal to 0 either this condition satisfy at point a comma b that is both derivative exist at point a comma b and their values are equal to 0 or if this is this does not hold then one second one or both one or both first order partial derivative first order first partial derivative does not exist at a comma then we call a comma b is critical point either both derivative should exist and if they are exist they should be equal to zero or either both or at least one partial derivative does not exist the next we will define here a saddle point so what is saddle point a differentiable function fxy has a saddle point saddle point at critical point point a comma b if 
if in every open list centered at e comma b a comma b there are domain points x comma y where f x comma y is greater than equal to is greater than f of a b and f of x y is less than f of a b the corresponding point A comma B comma F of A comma B on the surface Z is equal to F of A comma B Z is equal to F of X comma Y is called is called a saddle point of the surface for example if we take the fx y is equal to y square minus x square and fx will be equal to in that case minus 2x and fy will be equal to 2y and we observe that at the origin fx 0 0 is equal to fy 0 0 and both are equal to 0 so the here point 0 0 is critical point point now we will check is this critical point is a saddle point or not so for this we observe that f x comma 0 because if we take a center If we, if we draw a circle centered origin and if we put y is equal to 0 here so we get this is equal to x square and this is always less than f0 0 because f0 0 is 0 and f0 comma y this is equal to y square and this is always positive so it will be always greater than f0 0 that is greater than 0 so here there are lots of points in this point and this line in which the sometime function is positive and sometime it is negative so it satisfy the property of this one so the point a comma b here is 0 0 is also a saddle point so in this way we can find the critical and saddle point of of the given function of of the given function in case of function of two variable spaces.